everyone today let's make a curvy girl bat wing dress yes that's right let's get to it All right, grab your muslin and a pencil and a ruler. We're gonna make a one inch mark from the edge of the muslin so that we can use it as a guideline while we're draping. All right, pin your muslin back to the dress form. Use your one inch guide to keep the muslin straight so you won't have a crooked design and go ahead and snugly pin it in place. Okay, pin it and um, snugly put it in place. Add your darts, whatever you need to add. If you're adding darts, I'm going to add darts just for the shape of it because the muslin won't fall in place like I need it to because I'm going to actually be working with a stretch material. If you have to cut the top to give, loosen up the tension, do that. And then just go ahead and after you're done pinning really good, grab your marker and then you're going to trace your draping tape onto the muslin. My next step is to go ahead and connect all my dashes and to straighten out all of my lines to make sure when I sew it, we don't have a crooked masterpiece, unmasterful masterpiece. Okay, so now I have both dresses um, outlined and so now I'm just going to add a half inch seam allowance to each pattern piece around the entire pattern. Alright, next step, go ahead and cut out each pattern piece. 
Okay, I put it back on the mannequin. I pinned in my darts. And I'm going to go ahead. It looks like it's a pretty good fit. I'm going to go ahead and mark my notches so I'll know where these pattern pieces connect. So I'm just going to go right across there. Put a notch there. Okay, take your muslin piece and we're going to lay it on top of some tracing paper. I'm going to trace the whole thing. This is where for people who need to make adjustments or grade it up or grade it down, this is the part you want to do it at when you trace it on paper. That's for another tutorial. Once you've traced it all, go ahead and cut it out. do here is I'm going to drape the sleeve. I've taken a piece of muslin, just pinned it around because I'm only going to the high shoulder seam right here. So I'm just going to, so I'm just going to go ahead and trace it around because my dress, I've already done this part, so I just need to connect the sleeve. So I'm going to follow the draping tape. Because I'm only going to go down 17 inches in the front sleeve. So I'm going to take that down just a little bit further. I'm going to straighten it out with my rulers after this. Okay, I'm just going to finish drafting the sleeve and I'm just going to take it down 17 inches in the front. And then I'm going to curve the bottom of this. And when you see me going to the armpit, I'm actually following the draping tape. I'm just gonna flare that sleeve just a little bit. I'm gonna take it off and straighten off the right. Okay, we've taken the muslin sleeve part off of the dress form. So what I'm gonna do is just straighten out the lines with my ruler, rulers and my curved ruler. I'm gonna connect all the lines, and believe me, it looks funny right now, but it makes sense. The part that you see, it looks like an R, because that's the part that's gonna go under the arm. And then the other part, that right there, we are marking now, is the mid sleeve that goes down the, the arm, the top of the arm. The flare out part that looks like an R, that is the part that goes underneath the arm and it's going to flare. It's all going to make sense. It looks weird now, but it will make sense. Right, now to drape pattern piece number two. I just took the muslin, put it over the back. As you can see, that will be my wingspan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start again from the high shoulder point where I draped and I am going to just trace, put dashes to trace it. And then I'm going to do just like I did with the front. I'm going to find that high shoulder point. I'm going to take the muslin and pull it out. And this will match my sleeve. It's in the front. So I'm going to come down actually on the high shoulder point down to about 25 inches. So that'll be about right there. It's going to be longer in the back. And then this will be cut. This will form a, a half circle all the way up to this point right here. So that'll be the wingspan. And I'm going to straighten that out and cut that out once I take it off. What I'm going to do <clears throat> is go ahead and straighten out these, I mean, straighten out these lines, connect my dashes. Actually, I don't even think I'm going to connect it in the back. Uh, 
just kind of drew that so you know where that's what I'm going to do is though just draw out my wing span so just kind of ignore that curved part where the armpit is because we're going to start from the high shoulder point and I'm going to go down 17 inches so that it'll match the front and then the back it'll go down 25 inches so right here on this side the the top seam seam 17 inches in the back 25 inches and then we're going to draw a curve to match it all up okay once i'm finished with this part this part i'm going to go ahead and add a half inch seam allowance to both sleeve parts the back wing and the top sleeve okay here are both pattern pieces i'm about to put them back on the dress form so i can mark my notches okay here is the sleeve with the half inch seam allowance added to it and this will be my wingspan. And up next, the only thing I need to do, add my notches. So I'm going to add the dress part, then I'm going to mark my notches, and it looks like it's a good fit. And next, I didn't add the back of the dress, but I have the front. Okay, I've marked the arrow where my grain line is supposed to be, and so next we're just going to go ahead and cut out each pattern piece, and let's go ahead and sew this baby together. Okay, before you cut into your fabric, make sure you take your measurements and make sure everything is on point. Don't forget, when you're dealing with a body part, you're dealing with two fronts and two backs. So take your measurements and make, and make sure they're divided by four. Now you're ready to cut it on the fabric. The back piece will be cut on the fold. Start working on my sleeves first. I'm going to go ahead and pin those up together and take them over to the machine and sew them. All right, so now we're going to work on connecting the cape to the back of the dress. We're just going to have the wrong side facing up, and then we're going to have the wrong side facing up again. So we're going to go ahead and match the seams. Pin this together. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and pin that and flip this outward. So I mean, not pin it. We're gonna go ahead and sew it. <laughs> All right. So the cape is attached, flipped outward. So now we're gonna go ahead and attach the front of the dress. Okay, I'm gonna pin on the front of the dress. What I'm doing is the right sides together. I'm putting the right side of the front on the right side of the back, and I'm just gonna flip it over. It's a lot easier for me to do it on the dress form. All right, up next, <clears throat> all I did was take um, my muslin piece and I cut two strips, about an inch and a half, just to make a neckband. Next, take your waistbands and fold them in half and press them down and then sew along the edges. Cut the uneven edges off. Okay, once you have pressed them out, take one and just overlap it over the other one. Make sure the folded parts are the ones facing each other. Just kind of shape it like that, like a, make sure that angle is hitting the bottom part where it looks like a square almost at this angle. And then pin it together. Sew the bottom parts and sew the V right in the V part. Okay, our V neck is all sewn together, but next up, before we do that, we're just going to set this aside and we're going to focus on the top of the dress. This is the back of the dress. So, when I want to make sure that I do is I'm going to measure in between the distance of the top of 
the dress. I'm just going to make a strip. And this, for me, requires at least a nine inch, nine and a half inch strip. So I'm going to make it. And then I'm going to uh, sew it on out, in, outside and turn it inside out. Then I'm going to insert it across the back because it's going to need an anchor to stop it from slipping off your shoulders. So I'm going to take the strip and I'm just going to go ahead and add it under the seam allowance to the back of the dress. Pin it down and I'm going to sew it in place. Stop from falling over. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch that down and I'm going to top stitch that. I'm going to start from where the front is, where I put the, the neckband on. I'm going to start from there and I'm going to just sew right down. I'm going to stop when I get to the V part, back stitch and restart sewing again. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.